Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Imran from Cycloto. Today we'll be creating a coffee newsletter using MailChimp's classic builder. If you are interested in the new builder, check out our previous video where we covered that in detail. In this video, we'll focus on creating a fully responsive newsletter without writing any code, step by step using classic builder. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. First, let's select a MailChimp template click on create template then choose one column next we will design the preheader click style scroll down and uncheck this click save and click on the edit icon to edit this block select the full text and align it to right click save and close now let's remove all the blocks except the footer area remove the border bottom and click save now the preheader looks similar to the reference design Next, let's apply this color code to our body section. Click on the header and copy this color. Now, click on the header and paste the color code. Click save. Now, drag the image block and drop it here. And Click on this upload an image, click upload and open it. I'm using a demo logo, resize the logo, click on this it's to it and I think it's now looks perfect click save and close you can add your website url here onto the menu drag this text block and paste it here select the text and click on the link icon to add a link and add your website link here i'm using my website link click insert and then add a little space now add the second menu special offers again select the text click on the link icon and Put your website URL. I am using again my website URL just for placeholder. Do this process for the rest of the text. let's style the font click on the style icon header and let's uncheck this underline and add this color here click save click on this edit block go to style and align it center and select the font to Meriwether click save now it looks almost the same we have to add a separator so again click on the block drag this divider paste it and let me check the spacing 
it's 55 five, and the color code is this click save and close and let's make the border one pixel click save now duplicate this so we successfully create the menu bar let's create this banner text banner image and button to do this let's drag this text and drop it here copy this text and paste it here i'll give it this text as heading one as it's a big text so select it and go to style heading one save and close go to the style page now let's style the heading let's see the font size it's 40 pixel and the color is this and change the color to this click save there is a spacing at the top little space so drag this divider and add 5 5 next we have this image drag this image block click upload this is the banner image now go to setting click its to its to make it full width if you notice there is also a separator so add little space here next we have a button drag this button and drop it here now there's the tricky part the background color is there is blue gray but when we add this we got this light orange background color in order to get this background color you have to go to body and copy this color code click save ok and now there is a empty section so we have to use this section go to style body and paste the color code click save drag this button and paste it here there is a separator so remove it again now it looks okay let's add some space now style this button put your website url i mean your desired url in my case i'm using just a placeholder my website name then go to style and decrease this rounded corner to make it sharp now copy this background color and paste it here change the font to meriwether and the font size is 20 pixel padding is 20 pixel okay that's it pretty much we have done
I think it looks almost similar. I made this image using Photoshop. Let me show you the original image. So I downloaded this image from Freepik and then I created this web shape, this web shape using Photoshop and add this to color. Please let me know in the comments if you want to quick video on this. Next up we have an image called explore our menu. I created this image using illustrator. Let me show you the file. This is the file. I used a vertical line and used great vibes font for the explore text and meriwether for our menu text. Next up is the fun part. We will design only this block and use it for the rest of the items for this. To do this let's drag the image plus text block and paste it here go to setting and click the image position to left now upload this image on the right side we have a heading and paragraph text copy this and paste it here now I'm going to assign this as heading 2 and copy this description and the price paste it here now let's style the heading again go to the style page heading 2 Set the font Meriwether, align it center and change the color to white. Let me check is everything okay. Font size is 24 pixel. We successfully create the heading now let's style the description and the price click the edit block and now go to style and i need to center now change the color to white change the font to meriwether Now there is a space so click enter yes I think that's pretty much and next up we have a button and this is the tricky part and the most difficult part of this newsletter so let's create it it's step by step we can't add a button next to an image and text using MailChimp's classic builder it's disappointing that this option isn't available however MailChimp's new builder does include this feature although it also has some limitations if you'd like me to create a video comparing mailchimp's classic builder and new builder please let me know in the comments i'd be happy to do that for now let's create the button and see how to add it to the section I think this button looks the same so let's preview and test them right click on your browser click inspect click the cursor icon and select this block now scroll up little bit make sure you select the entire block if the cursor move above the section another section might be selected once you have selected the correct block as you can see there is an overlay showing we select the whole block right click on it edit as HTML and copy the entire code Control A Ctrl C. Return to the editor. Open the block. 
click the code icon and click enter and paste the whole code as you can see the button is in the section so let's add some space to make it look nice to add a link to this button click again and select the text click on the link icon and put your desired link click insert and that's it also we can check if this working or not so this is the button let's click on this as you can see the link is working here's how you can add a button to a section in the classic builder once we create one block we can duplicate it to create as many as we need then we will just change the text image and button link let me demonstrate click on the duplicate block three times on the second item we can see the image on right side to do this simply go to the setting click on the edit block go to the setting and change the image position to right and the third will be same and the four will be also like the second one change the image position to right then we will just simply change the text images and button link okay so let's add some spacing to make make it look nice let me see the spacing here it's 1515 15. so make it 15 15 I totally forgot to add this image here so let's do this now drag the image box upload here is also some spacing so let's do that let me just duplicate this spacing and drop it oh sorry and drop it here this way you can quickly add more items by duplicating a block now let's create this section explore our shop and this is very similar to this one actually it's pretty much easy so let's do that drag the image block to add the explore our shop section this section click upload Click setting adds to its now let's add some spacing like the one here it's 2020 on top on bottom let's remove the border 
as for this section we will use the image plus text block again so let's drag the image plus text go to setting and click number of images to now click browse and add images okay now let's copy the text and put it over there let me see the styles okay change the align to center and for the second again copy the text and go to column 2 and paste it and for the button I have already shown this process once so repeating it would make the video longer I'll just proceed with the process so we don't need this button let's delete it and duplicate this block and the next step will be very easy so go to column 1 click replace after the third image and just copy the text here Now go to the column 2, replace 4 and over here copy the text and paste it here, click save and close. And now we have the testimonial section, again drag the image, click upload and upload this testimonial text and for testimonial I created this image using canva let me show you the canva template this is the template I use I added some icons and all these elements are editable you can change the text and images to your liking easily by clicking on them Please let me know if you want a video on how to use Canva for creating email newsletters. Let's add this testimonial. Next, we will use this image block and the social media follow blog this blog to includes links to facebook twitter and other social media accounts let's add some space here now drag the social follow blog and drop it here with numerous popular social media accounts available you can select the ones you need so now let's just style facebook twitter and the custom link let's remove it go to setting select this and that's it you can add your 
Facebook link, Twitter username and your website URL. Click save and close and we can add some spacing maybe. And that's it. We successfully created the newsletter step by step. Enter preview mode to check how it looks on mobile. Please let me know in the comments if you had any difficulties creating the newsletter or have any suggestion for me. Also, you can purchase this newsletter from Lemon Squeezy where I share all the source file, including the MailChimp shareable link and the Photoshop file for banner illustrator file for the divider text and canva files for the testimonial section if you found this video helpful make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel as it motivates us to create more videos thanks for watching see you in the next video inshallah